Every 10 seconds, a little girl is undergoing the horror of female genital mutilation. Until today, this brutal practice is prevalent in African countries and among communities in Oman, the UAE, and Yemen. Female genital mutilation, also known as FGM, is a complex and controversial traditional practice. The practice involves partial or total removal of the external female genitalia for non-medical reasons. FGM is simply a violation for women's integrity. Families claim that uncircumcised women have overactive sex desire. Women should be circumcised in order to protect the family's honor. By practicing FGM, parents reassure that women will not lose virginity. And among these communities, virginity equals honor. Losing virginity is a liability to families and to the community as a whole. FGM has horrible consequences including severe pain, bleeding, infection, and irritation from urine. Uprooting FGM will save many women from this barbaric practice. There is no religion that approves genital mutilation. Neither the Bible nor the Quran subscribe to the practice of FGM. It is needed to let women know about specific clerics who deny FGM. Also, governments should implement tougher laws to put an end to genital mutilation. Although there are laws against FGM, the practice still continues. The reason is that laws do not deal with social and cultural reasons for committing the act. Traditions are not static. We should know that a cultural and traditional change is possible. It is our responsibility to change traditions if they are not for our benefit. It is also important to educate men about the dangers of FGM. This will let men fight alongside women to break the wall of silence. No one can deny the long time needed to stop FGM, but we have to believe that someday, not today, females will be safe. This will happen if only we give them a hand to be protected. This was Maisel Amouri standing up for women's rights.